I would first like to welcome everyone in attendance this evening. I'm Jacques Vio, and I have the honor and the privilege to serve as the Reams principal, and I have for the past nine years. It is so great to see representation from Reams past and present here tonight. If you could, if you were a former Reams student, or attended Reams as a student, or currently attend Reams as a student, could you raise your hand? Wow, that's awesome. All right. Now some of you are probably going to raise your hand again. If you are a current or former staff member at Reams, could you please raise your hand? I see some people who raised their hand more than once. That's good. So I just want to review a couple housekeeping things before I talk a little bit more about Reams. Um, the PTO has graciously provided all staff, past and present, with blue ribbons. So you'll notice if you staff members, current and former, have blue ribbons on. If you are a current staff member or former staff member that doesn't have one, you can get one on your way into the building. So thank you to PTO. After this short ceremony, we'll be opening the building for self-guided tours. We'll all go in this main entrance. We still have a few weeks of school left. So there's still teaching going on, but we're also trying to pack up because obviously you're here because the building's closing. So you'll see boxes in some rooms. Not all the rooms are open, but all the rooms have, if they're not open, the lights are on, so you can look in the rooms. But there are some rooms that are open. Those rooms have balloons on their doors, so you can welcome to go in. The library is open. We also have old yearbooks and picture books and old photographs in the library. Please don't take them. <laughs> um, they're there just for you to look at and reminisce. Um, the school looks great. I appreciate all the artwork people provided, students provided, former students. Um, and we also have a memory wall in the cafeteria. There's snacks and refreshments in the cafeteria. And there's a slideshow that's presenting that will be showing throughout the evening. We have a commemoration magnet that won't, isn't available yet, but it will be hopefully before the end of the school year. If you're interested in receiving one of those and you're not a current student or staff member, there will be sign-up sheets on the counter when you walk in. You can put your name and your email address and phone number so we can contact you when they do come in, and then you can know where to go to get one. Again, since the school is still, school is still in session, we have school tomorrow. And you know, we want to make sure that the building is ready for tomorrow. So we ask that everyone exit the building by 7 o'clock tonight. It will give you plenty of time to look around. Um, we'll be done out here in about 20 minutes. And then you'll have over an hour inside to enjoy Reams. So Reams here has been a part of everyone's life you know, in some way, shape, or form. There are so many things about Reams that, Ream that make it a special place. And you know, I thought about this. You, you don't need air conditioning for it to be a special place. <laughs> now, well, I will say, some days you do. Um, and the other thing, like, what's better than a gym cafetoria? <laughs> it is so versatile. It can be used for so many different things. Hello. And honestly, there is nothing like a good quarry blast every two, two or three times a month just to make keep us on our toes. And if you haven't ever experienced that, I remember the first time I experienced a quarry blast and I thought the roof was falling in. Reams will always have a special place in our hearts. That part will never go away. It will always be with us. I want to thank all the staff members, past and present, for making this a special place. Please give them a round of applause. I also want to thank the students for making Reams so much fun. You remind us constantly that life doesn't have to be so serious all the time. Thank you families for sending us your best children and entrusting us and those who were before us with your children. And thanks to the entire community for supporting Reams in so many different ways. 
We have the fire company who's actually here tonight. You know, you can check out the fire truck if you want to. They've helped out in the, in the Reams, at Reams with fire safety lessons and things like that. And I appreciate them coming out and supporting Reams tonight. Yeah, I didn't think this was gonna be that hard, but it is. Um, I want everyone who walked through these doors as a student or a staff member or in any other capacity to remember that as Reams closes its doors, just remember that there's always other doors waiting for you to walk through them. Walk through them proudly, just like you did the, the doors here at Reams. Because it's just a special place. And that's the reason everyone here is celebrating Reams. And I've enjoyed it for almost a third of my career. These nine years have been very special. And I'll never forget it. Now I'd like to introduce our school board president, Mr. Terry Siders, for a few words. Before I start, could we give uh, another round of applause to Jacques for uh, all he's done for us? I, I will confess that this is my second trip down memory lane for Reams in the last two weeks. Um, the first one was my, my wife, Laurie, said, you know, we have this four-drawer filing cabinet we need to get rid of, and we've got to clean it out. Now, guys, work with me here. You know this is going to be a project, right? You've got to find a place for everything that's in there because you really know that nothing's going to get thrown out. There's always a reason for something. So my former career allowed me to always look at a project based on time. How long is this going to take? I estimated 30 minutes. Four drawers, we can do this in 30 minutes. Drawer number three, we opened it up. Had no idea what was in any of them, to be honest with you. But door number three, drawer number three was my daughter's memorabilia from Reams. All the stuff that she had done, it was there. Guys, shoot that time frame, it was gone. There was no way that we were gonna get anywhere. So as we started going through this and, and we're looking at it and uh, the memories came back, um, she's putting it on the pile to keep, I'm putting it on the pile to get rid of and it's coming back to the pile to keep, and it just was back and forth. Um, eventually, it all went into a box that we kept. But here's the interesting thing. I called my daughter and I said, hey, we just went through this drawer, and we have all this memorabilia and all these things, and I'm telling her all about them, and she said, why'd you keep them? You see, it's important to us to remember all of that stuff, but what, what we really need to remember about our children is that they're gonna be fine. It, it's, it's, a, it's a move, but eventually they were gonna move anyway. They're gonna go to a building where they're loved and we're gonna give them a quality education just like we did here. So as we come together this afternoon, early evening, allow us to take the time to share with each other the rich history and the many stories that we all have at the Reams Elementary School, as well as the teachers and the many students who have passed through these doors. Allow us to take time to gather together and pause at all this school has offered our wonderful students and community throughout its rich history. Certainly as we look to the future of our district without Reams, there will be moments of sadness. This is completely understandable with the years that we have been used to our students learning and growing here. However, tonight our responsibility this evening is to celebrate the years of learning, the years of growing, the years of love that this school has given our students. District and community, please take time to share stories with family and friends and do not be afraid to shed a tear. The memories that have been made inside these walls should never be forgotten. They were made to be shared. And now I'd like to introduce our school superintendent, Dr. Michelle Bellia. Yeah. 
we're gonna do the flag raising first. <laughs> so now, without the flag raising, uh, Mr. Aaron Monaco, our current custodian, is gonna raise the flag. I'm gonna ask some former Ream students to come forward because they're gonna lead us in the pledge once the flag is raised and they know who they are. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's give them a round of applause. That was brave. Now I have some current Ream students that are here. I have some that will lead us, but I want any current Ream students to come forward, but I have a special group that's gonna hold the microphone. They're gonna lead us in our school mission statement. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> Some of them were a little nervous, but they did great. At this time, I would like to introduce our school superintendent, school district superintendent, Dr. Michelle Balliot, for some closing remarks. Thank you, Josh. I, I have to say, it is really wonderful seeing all of you out here today. Um, the smiles, the joy, it's really, it's amazing seeing folks who were here 20 and 30 years ago embracing each other. I was standing in the back over here and I, I hear teachers go, wait a minute, that's so-and-so, that's so-and-so, that's so-and-so. That is what the Elizabethtown area school district community is all about. I have to agree with Mr. Siders. We know that this is, for some, a very emotional time, and that this was probably not the outcome that you were hoping for, but it doesn't matter which school our children go to, you are going to be loved, you are going to be cared for, you're going to be surrounded by amazing staff, you're going to be surrounded by a community that loves you. And I'm going to, how many of you here in this audience, I'm going completely off script, Mr. Uh, Portzer, I'm sorry I cleared this with you before and going off script. How many of you are supposed to go to Bear Creek next year or will be at Bear Creek? Get your hands nice and high. Okay, guess what? If you don't know this, guess who your principal is going to be next year? <laughs> Mr. Vio. So he's not going anywhere. He gets to have every single student that is going to come through the school district from the primary level now go through Bear Creek. And we think that's pretty awesome. And I do want to commend Mr. Vio because when we asked him if he was interested in this opportunity, he did say, uh, Michelle, I've been at Reams here now for nine years, and I'm not sure. And then he said, whatever you need. And I'm super excited because I think he's going to be exactly what we need at Bear Creek. So I do want to commend Josh for that. Now, we have our current staff here. 
who ha are doing their absolute best to put their best smile forward and their best foot forward, and they're trying and they're posting and pacing that smile. They're an amazing group of individuals, whether they are professional staff, our fantastic support staff that allow us to do what we do in our district. Um, they just hold it all together. So can I have a round of applause for our staff? We also have some um, guests that are with us this evening that were part of the administrative team. Dr. Williams is here with us. He is former superintendent. He said that he actually started teaching here at Reams. So we have Dr. Williams with us today. Now, Mr. Siders warned me when I start calling out people, I'm going to miss somebody. So I'm just going to already apologize if I miss someone. But we also have uh, Mrs. Deb Weaver with us, former Reams principal. Or doctor, sorry. Sorry, Dr. Weaver. I always just call her Deb, so <laughs> sorry, Dr. Weaver. We have um, Mrs. Lois Brewer with us this evening, and she was assistant principal here. Now, for some of you, you may know that uh, Mrs. Dodie Longenecker is with us, and she was administrative assistant here in the district and here at Reams. She's in the VIP seats, so please come and see her. And we have, according to my amazing administrative assistant, who I think should write a book on Elizabethtown history, her name is Mrs. Becky Maxwell. She has told me, yes, let's give a round for Mrs. Becky Maxwell, because she has been here for all seven superintendents. I'm superintendent number seven. She's been with all seven. I don't know how she tolerates that, but she does, does it and does it with a smile on her face. But she also told me, and I got a chance to meet um, Miss Nell, who was the librarian here for a long period of time. So I'd just like to do a shout out. There were a lot of people who came together to make today happen. Our PTO here at Reams has been an amazing support system, not only this year, but in years past. They have pulled things together and have surrounded this school with additional love and support. So can I have a round of applause for the Reams PTO? We have parents, we have guardians, we have community members, we have caregivers. Boy, that Reams Fire Department has just been outstanding. I've had the pleasure of, of spending time with them in the past and they have been wonderful. Everybody who has come together to, to, make, to make today possible, you are a part of the memories that Mr. Siders was talking about. It's not the bricks necessarily that are behind me, but it's the people that are standing in this grass and this beautiful weather celebrating the memories and the people. And that is what's so important here. And each one of you here, former students, former staff members, whether regardless of your role, parents, current individuals here, you have made Reams what it is. And it is a place of love. It is a place of family and community. And as we transition from Reams to East High and Bainbridge, Students who are going to East High and Bainbridge next year, they are super excited to welcome you. They cannot wait to have you join their family. That includes also the faculty and staff. They're super excited to create new memories and new opportunities. So I just want to recognize those folks that made today possible. Would you please raise your hands nice and high, whether you're in the program or you helped plan the program, can we just see a raise of hands, please? Don't be shy. Come on. You deserve, you deserve a lot of credit. Please take the time to share those memories with folks here today. As Jacques said, there's a lot of wonderful things that you can see in the building and memories that are going to continue to take place as you all reminisce. We really appreciate you coming out today to help us celebrate and commemorate this very special occasion. And we look forward to making new memories with all of you, whether you're alumni or current students, 
or community members. We're really looking forward to just continuing this legacy of success here in the Elizabethtown Area School District. I thank you very much, and I'm going to turn the mic back over to Mr. Vio. Okay, so now Mr. Aaron, as the students know him, is going to lower the flag, and we'll have a flag um, and two former Ream students that are current seniors here in Elizabethtown Area School District, the high school, we're graduating in a few weeks, Kyle Lloyd and Brendan Heisey. They're both Eagle Scouts, and they're going to fold the flag, and they will present the flag to Mr. Siders, the school board president. gentlemen did an awesome job. I kind of think we should almost have to do that like every day. That's kind of key. That's why I like that. Um, so again, thank you all for coming. Um, I appreciate the great turnout. Um, you get a chance to go into the building, check out the stuff that's happening inside the building, slideshow, have a snack. There's drinks, cookies, chips. Um, yes, you're allowed to eat it in the hallway. Um, and again, there's displays in the, all throughout the building, in the library as well. I appreciate you, every, everyone coming out. And again, we're going to try and get everyone out by 7 o'clock so we have some time to get ready for school tomorrow. Thanks again, and we'll see you inside.